Um, we've been together for eight years, so it's weird to think that wow. now is the time that it's happening. How do you think too late to back out now. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Oh, oh, oh you different can, story. Can you well, paper, I mean, like, the Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> you look, oh, I love this tie. Oh, Soft boy. kiss. Mwah. You look great. Thank you. Do a turn and see. I love you. I love you too, smart girl. I'm excited. I love you. I love you too. This is going to be fun. I know. Welcome to the Parada wedding. It's gonna be an eventful night. We have our videographer, I am your DJ. We're here to celebrate love and matrimony. <laughs> Oh, 
Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Thomas and Mara in marriage. Groom and bride give themselves to one another in a holy covenant. Thomas, will you have Mara to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live i do mara will you have thomas to be your husband to live together in holy marriage will you love him comfort him honor him and keep him in sickness and in health forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I do. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, it reads, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It is not proud. It does not boast. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects it always trusts, it always hopes and perseveres. Love never fails. You're my best friend. I love your sense of humor and how much we joke and laugh and have laughed over the last eight years. We've come a long way since we met on Jefferson. Who would have thought? Look at us now. From forgetting my name after the first time we met <laughs> to having a daughter, and here we are getting married. I can't wait to live the rest of my life with you by my side. During that time, I always, I always, I promise to always love and support you and our daughter with every ounce of effort I have through the good times and the bad. I also promise to make sure I get extra food for you when you tell me you don't want it because you know you're going to eat some. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the future of enjoying life together, traveling around the world, and raising our daughter into an all-star athlete. I promise this to you forever, for eternity, and until death to us part. You'll notice some similarities here. <laughs> eight years strong. I knew pretty early on that this was gonna be a forever thing. 
Of course, not right off the bat, considering I completely forgot your name the first time we met <laughs> and, con and was convinced that your name was Tyler. <laughs> that stuck around for a little while. But after that night at Denny's, clowning on your friends and quoting Kevin Hart jokes, I knew then that you were the one for me. I'm nothing short of blessed to be able to live this life with you. From binge watching Grey's Anatomy and Star Wars to date nights at Chick-fil-A, from trips to Disney to travels to Finland, I'm beyond excited to keep experiencing it with you. You exemplify everything I want Carlia to look for in her person, and there aren't enough words to explain how much that means to me. I fall more in love with you every day, and I'll never finish falling in love with you. No measure of time with you will be enough, but I think forever is a good start. Ring. I'll give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Tomorrow. Thomas. Thomas. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. You may kiss the bride. Mara, I love you so much. Uh, you are literally my best friend. I am so obsessed with you. And I'm so proud of you. And I, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with you and Tommy. I think you guys match each other's energy. You, perf like, I'm not even gonna say complete each other because you guys just amplify each other. And you guys are so, amazing together and are such good parents and it's so amazing to see and thank you for raising my perfect perfect god baby <laughs> happy for the both of you i wish you the all the happiness in the world um i hope that your daughter brings you happiness and your marriage brings you happiness. And be prepared that not everything is easy. Uh, it does take work all the time. But since you two love each other so much, I'm sure it will be easy for you. And we love you. We wish you the best for a happy, long marriage. I don't know if you screamed loud enough yet, but it's time to scream out loud. Introducing Mr. and Mrs. Prada.
I remember the first time Mara told me, say, I got a new boyfriend. So okay, his name's Tommy. Talked to him on the phone. He wasn't what I expected. <laughs> Sibling. I was blessed with you. I don't know about daddy, but I love you more than you can know. <laughs> <laughs> you make her so happy. I've seen Mara happy, seen her down, seen her cry, and, and the way she smiles when she hears your name, that means everything to me. People know how I feel about Mar. They know what I'll do for Mar. And it means the world that I know you'll do the same for. Welcome to the family, and I love you. goes by any, like, you want to know what it's like? This morning, got her up, you know, got her ready. Uh, made sure she was like, you know, ready to go. And I go, Mara, am I doing a toast today? She goes, nah, girl, you good. I was like, bet. Where am I right now? <laughs> I will do anything for her. <laughs> uh, but that just shows how loyal Mara is and how much she fought for our relationship and fought for us to be in each other's lives. When we went dress shopping to find this beautiful dress, we were sitting out to eat with Kawanda and she goes, I always wanted y'all to be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> but she's so compassionate, she's so kind, she loves her people so hard. So meeting Tommy was the most amazing thing because and I don't even want to say that he completes her, they amplify each other. They are there for each other. They're such a team, also stubborn as hell. That's true. <laughs> we love him. Um, <laughs> but just watching them go throughout the years, my husband and I, we, we met Tommy, I would say maybe six years ago. Um, and we go on vacation, so they vacation. Uh -huh. But just watching them, kind of me, because they were very fresh. It was just like, she likes him, and he will die for her, you know? <laughs> and that, I feel like that's the type of love that you would want to see for your child, and that you would want them to experience in this lifetime. And I'm so, so proud to see you guys raising Carlia, my god baby. <laughs> you guys are the most incredible parents, and I will, always, always say how amazing you guys are because you guys handled finding out that you, you know, the pregnancy and things, finding out that you might not be able to be pregnant and then being pregnant and having this beautiful baby and raising her and she's so happy. I'm so proud of you guys. I love you, obviously. I just, I, I wish you guys nothing but happiness and I will fight anybody that gets in your way. I love you guys so, so much. Let's do another vacation soon. Thank you guys. Okay, so that's going to be very hard to follow. 
Um, my name is Tom. I'm Tommy's dad and best man. So I'm a little older than Jasmine. I need notes, so I'm going to read through these. Um, the first thing that I want to say is that tomorrow we are honored to have you as part of the family. And that, um, Thomas, I'm sure that you will be the husband, the father that you're supposed to be, and the father that you all are supposed to be, and the parents that you're supposed to be. Um, I believe that ultimately you two found each other, and you're very lucky to have. Um, you, you obviously love each other. And I hope that you guys are happy, healthy, and you have a long, healthy marriage. Um, if everybody will raise their glasses. Imaginary glasses. Or not. And wish them well to a happy and healthy marriage. Brother, love you. to be a mother since I was in grade school. Like, that was my only goal in life, to be a mother. And I really like my children. Like, you guys, like, you guys are good people. And I'm so grateful for that. And I think I told y'all the other day, like, y'all are genuinely good people. And then you went and met another good person. Like, he's really a good person. And the way that he takes care of you and He's just nice, and I don't, y'all don't understand how some people just aren't good. <laughs> and when you want, you know, to send your, your daughter or your son off to, you know, start their new lives, you want to be with somebody who's going to help them grow spiritually, you know, emotionally, mentally, financially, physically, and <laughs> And I believe that you will take care of her. You already do. And the fact, y'all don't know that Mara, her gynecologist told her she had less than 1% chance to get pregnant. And the fact that she got pregnant, and I always wanted her to experience that and to experience it with him and the way that they're raising their daughter. Like, always be boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, you get into that rut, you know, with husband and wife, and you just be sitting at home getting big, looking at TV, you know, doing that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not criticizing, you know, but I'm just saying, don't do it, you know. <laughs> not like for real, but continue to be boyfriend and girlfriend. As my cousin told me, don't smother your inner child. Carlisle's grandfather. <laughs> not Mara's dad, but I'm Carlisle's grandfather. No, but, um... I remember, I remember cutting your umbilical cord. And my mom was in Florida. And I called her soon thereafter. And I said, Mom, I understand what you mean. Because my whole life, my mom would tell me and my brother, I love you more than you can possibly imagine. But until you have your own child, you can't really understand that statement that your parents may make to you. And I remember I cut your umbilical cord and my mom said, what was that feeling like? And I, you know, I told you this, I said it was like God took a butter knife and cut off a piece of the sun balled it up in his hands and just threw it into my heart. And, and it's a blessing now to know that you know what that feeling feels like because you have your own child. And, you know, I think my greatest wish would have been for my mom Because you know 
she loved her Mara Ashley so much. But she's still here, just not physically. And um, she loved you too because of the way that you loved her. And I remember you said to me, uh, after you asked for my permission to take her hand, you said, Mr. Green, I will take care of her. I will love her and I will always make sure that she is safe. And I told you earlier that, I don't know if you all know this, um, a lot of you know this, but Mara was over in Finland playing volleyball. And it's hard to have a relationship when your lady friend is you know, 15 hours away by flight. You know? And you were always faithful to her for all of those years. And when you flew to Finland, to be with her for that month, month and a half, that's when I knew. And I said, she's got an amazing person who loves her. And I remember one day we were talking and Mara, Mara said to me, Daddy, I'm grateful that I found someone who loves me as much as you do. And I never thought that that would be possible. <laughs> So I'm, I'm grateful to have you as a son, and um, I know that you'll do everything that you can to make her happy, and I'm grateful to be a part of your family, and I love you guys like I love my own, so I look forward to you in the second future for the both of you. When I first found out about Tommy, of course, I'm the one, I always give 21, 51, 100 questions. So when he came to visit, I gave him the 21 question. And it was too grilling, and he actually cursed <laughs> in front of my mom for the first time. So I want to apologize for that. And you made it. Look, you made it. <laughs> I feel like I need to clarify a few things on that story. No one told me the correctional officer of the family was going to come interrogate me at the dinner table. I absolutely did slip up, and where's she at? Grandma came to my rescue. Everybody started giving me what I said about it, and Grandma came out of the room talking about, "Don't you, don't give my friend any trouble. He's my friend." <laughs> And grandma absolutely saved me, and that's probably the only reason I'm still here. So, thank you, grandma. <laughs>